All right, hey guys, Eamon here, back with another NRL reaction. We are on the last round of my first uh, my first season following the league, I guess. Um, been a crazy ride. Really exciting final week here. There's like tons of the whole, the whole like yeah, the whole outlook of the top eight can completely shift this week, right? Pretty much every position other than the storm. Um, and yeah, I am gonna. T I have like the standings open um, from last week, and I'll probably like try to update between each game i'll like look at what the standings look like and all that stuff so it's kind of a bit more i'll be more even more informed during each reaction i guess is kind of what my goal was there and then yeah I'll obviously i'll go over my tips uh, before each game um yeah let's just hop into it i uh, make sure to sub like the video comment all your thoughts all that stuff um and yeah I, I guess keep keep on uh keep your eyes on the uh yeah <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> that's as often doing so the first game up is Broncos storm um there's not much to be played for here right as far as i'm understand i'll look at the thing again yeah stormer locked in first broncos i guess they can finish higher in the standings that's like that's about it there's nothing they can't make it though right so nothing much to play for here um my, my pick was storm by six i know the storm probably have i think it's yeah most of their roster isn't playing so yeah shouldn't expect much here from the uh I mean, yeah, I'm still expecting the win, but yeah, you never know. Let's just hop into it. We're underway. The final round, would you believe, is here. Yeah, it's crazy, right? At the, ooh, jeez, look at that smoke. It's crazy how fast it feels like these 27 weeks have gone. Hoist that one high. Here's a tester for Falongo. Falongo. Oh, what a run. Is he gonna get this? No, one v three. All oh, little goose steps. Ah, <laughs> that was crazy though. They're going crazy. Fast start the Thursday night footy for you. Hope you're enjoying it. Oh, good steps. Meany to Warbrick. Warbrick gets away from Rogers. Is he gone? One left. Yeah, he's gone. There you go. Jeez. Nice. Munster, dummy the ball, goes to Grant. Grant finds Hughes. Yeah, Munster, yeah, he was he didn't play last week, right? And he's playing again. Uh, Longo, There we go. Nice. Is this guy? Yeah, this guy's not a starter usually, right? Warbrick. Jeez. Do you need another one? Oh, no way. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. No way. That's crazy. That was gross. Goes to Munster. Munster to Hughes. Running into that big hole is Katoa. Slams it down. Yeah, the Broncos aren't even. Yeah. That's crazy. Absolutely. Absolute blowout so far. Mariner. Slips away from one. Can't get away from Munster. Moser. Dude, that was a good little play. Did he get it though? Yeah, he got it. Okay. Yeah, that was a good play. Like, a little quick, little like, three passes there. Oh, okay. Uh oh, they're gonna go all the way. And he looks to take off and finds Hughes. Hughes ducking away from defenders. What about turning defense into attack? This Melbourne Storm. No way. This guy's a beast. Is it Warbrick? It's Warbrick, right? Not Orb. Yeah, Warbrick. Oh, no way. That was sad. Yeah, the Broncos. Yeah, the Broncos just want to want to go enjoy their vacation, it looks like. Plays it a meter away from the line. Grant to Hughes. Hughes with a dummy. Jeez, he got it. Yeah. Jeez. Well, that's good news. They're like. Yeah, like at least the storm were, I mean the storm were already like doing really well, but it's good to always good to like finish strong and like head into the and the playoffs on a, on a high. Just absolutely smoking the Broncos here. The Hughes kicks for Warbrick. We got it too, no way. What a pass. Oh. Jeez, excuse me guys. Which will be awarded Jerome Hughes now with 12 tries in 12 games against 12 the and 12 against the Broncos. Oh, what happened here? Oh, okay. Is there a replay for this? Let's see. 
Oh, yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Better get a bit lower there. Here it is. Yeah, the pop of the shoulder got him. Mozart to Reynolds. He conjure up here, goes to Sailor. Sailor to Cobo. Cobo fires nice. a pass out wide, and Brisbane yeah. do score their second try tonight through Jesse Arthurs. Now Grant. Hughes. That's oh, what a pass. Is that Warbrick again? Jeez. That's crazy. Will Warbrick. Bellamy. 400 wins for the coach? Is that not insane? How many seasons has he coached? 400. What's that? That's like 20. Let me, let me do the math on that. So he's been coaching for like minimum like 25 years then, right? Or like 20 years minimum? I guess that's not too crazy, but, but that is crazy at the same time. Anyways, okay. So yeah, that was, that was my pick. My pick was way off. I thought it'd be a lot closer than that. But yeah, 50 to 12 is wild. Storm are going to be, yeah, Storm are the team to beat right now. So um, yeah, very interesting. Um, don't give me this Tedesco for Dalian debate over Jerome Hughes. Even Stevie Wonder can see Jerome has been the best player all season. That ball from Hughes for Willie's last shot, was, yeah, that was sick. That was like a floater that just went like it just like found him somehow. It was crazy. Um, we can still make the eight pointers <laughs> properly. Yeah, I heard all week the Broncos are going to dig in and play for the coach. If that's something the coach needs, the first one to go next season. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so that doesn't really matter for the the standings, right? The storm already locked in, so. Yeah, storm by six is my pick. Obviously, that was not even close. Okay, now we got the spoon bowl. Is that what it's called? The spoon bowl? Someone had posted a funny video in our Discord of, of that. I think it was the spoon bowl. Um, yeah, so Tigers, Eels. I picked a nail biter, Eels by one. I think it was, yeah, I think it was overtime I picked them or Golden Point. Um, probably not what happened. I, I'm assuming one team's going to get absolutely smoked, and that'll be hilarious because, like, to get smoked to lose or to win, to win the wooden spoon, you get absolutely smoked to be, it'd be really funny. So, Let's go with that, but yeah, Eels by one with my pick. Um, yeah, the Tigers are just a mess, and I think I, yeah, I think I said in my tips. If you didn't watch my tips, I said, I said it'd be it'd be the Tigers are gonna go out on top on top of the wooden spoon one more time before they improve next season with all the signings they made. So they're gonna go out on top, and then they won't they won't they won't be down here again. Is, is that <laughs> that's that's my little uh, yeah? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> They'll probably still get it next year. Spoon Bowl, Spoon Bowl 24. <laughs> it's so funny. They need. I wish they had something like this in hockey. It's hilarious. We're really like competing for the. Yeah. Here we go, Sivo. Yeah, Sivo's. I think Sivo's why I chose the Eels, actually. Oh, what a, there you go, Galvin. Did he get that? Did he? Okay, I did. I thought he might have knocked it on. I've been looking for the knock-ons way more. The knock-ons when they score. Because we've seen that happen so many times this season where the guy, like, throws it down, but he loses control of it right at the last second. So I'm trying to, like, spot that a lot more because it's... Yeah. There you go. Tie game. Ooh, shipped. Or so. Oh, good tackle. There you go. Paramata. Out of the wind spoon position. What is on this guy's hand here? What is that? One sec. What are these? What are these red and green things on his hand? Can't get a good angle of that. Is that just tape? He has like two colored tape. Oh, it's his, it's his mouth guard. It's his mouth guard. <laughs> That's what it was. Holy smoke! That is a massive kick. Jeez, and it, it, it spiraled back. Jeez, I actually watched a video. Um, there you go, Paramata. I watched a video. I was randomly on my recommended. I just like threw it on for some reason because it caught my eye. I guess um, it's about there's a kicker or a punter, a punter in the NFL right now that has like a kick that like 
it goes up in the air and then it like goes like it like turns like that the last second and like NFL uh kick return guys have been like baffled by it because it like moves away from them at the last second and that kind of reminded me of it i'd assume it's probably a similar technique to what you guys use in the nrl or one of the techniques i guess because it's like like look at this thing it like like yeah it, it like he thought he had it and then at the last second it like moves yeah the spin is like crazy i'd assume that's something maybe he might even be from like australia they're from rugby, I don't even know the, the guy that they're uh, was in the video I was watching, but yeah, it's crazy. Oh, brutal. The Tigers gonna get smoked to, to win the wooden spoon. He gives it to Penasini. The brilliance, the hands of the enigmatic one. Set restart. 12 from dummy half. Latu Fainu from brother Sam Weller. They're only a meter out. Coruscant, another set restart here. Two in quick succession. Terrible pass from Dummy Half. There you go, Tigers. It's in a big cutback for the Tigers. Need the Eels by one. Eels by one. Ooh, that's a penalty. Is that a bin? Maybe a bin? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. Defend these sets. And then be good with the ball to use up the clock. A kick out wide. Penasini was chasing. Oh, no way. He got that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got that and put it down, yeah. Excuse me, guys. Oh, my God. I haven't missed tight in a video in a while. There you go, Sivo. Oh, oh did, did he get that? Yeah. It's another one I thought would be a knock-on. We'll see. They got Yeah, man. Sivo's, Sivo's sick. Has Sivo ever been on, like, a top team before? Because he's, like, he's a bit older, I think, right? He's, like, maybe in his 30s. I think. I might be wrong about that, but he looks a bit older. But, yeah, he's, he's a beast. Oh, jeez. What, what the hell is happening? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look away, Tigers fans. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a bunch of these Tigers guys can probably throw some hands here because they're going to be out of the league next season. There you go. Papalihi. Gee, it's too easy, man. Too easy. They can drop 50, 54 points on him. Don't get 60. Don't get 60. That'd be so disrespectful. Please. That's going to be 60. This is honestly one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen in sports. Like, holy crap. Hey. Why is the crowd cheering? <laughs> Jeez. 60 26. That's so bad. <laughs> Someone brought a giant spoon. <laughs> That's amazing. The, the Tigers are the reverse, uh, the reverse Panthers. That's crazy. Yeah, like that that actually is one of the more embarrassing things I've seen in sports before. Like you're at home playing against a team just as bad as you, standings wise at least, and you get blown out sixty to twenty six. Like come on, man. Like that's crazy. Man. Okay, let's look at the comments. Spoon Bowl twenty four, yeah. First time I've ever seen the Eels put 60 save and all that for the last round. Three beat. Great performance, Tigers. Three times spoon holders. Yeah, it's amazing that this match coincided with the two bottom teams playing off for the wins for the very last round. Pretty good crowd attendance to boot as well. <laughs> but Warren Smith, the commentator, didn't have to do the Tigers and Eels dirty and announced the spoon bowl at the kickoff. He did have to do that. He did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
First time Parramatta's scored 60 since around 25, 2007. Jeez. Three feet's insane. One of these two teams were playing a grand final two years ago. Okay, so the Eels were good recently. Okay, so Masiva must, must have been on that team, actually. Let me actually look at that. Sivo NRL. Uh, Maiko Sivo. Yeah, he, actually, he's, only, he's only 30. Okay, I thought he might be a bit older. He's like the same age as me. Spoilers for my age. Jesus Christ, I'm too old now. Okay, so he's been, yeah, he's been here for five. He's been on the Eels his whole career, so that's good. Yeah, he's a machine. Look at this. Where, where would he rank? He's a, he's a winger, right? Yeah, he's a winger. Where would he rank, like, league-wide in terms of uh, wingers? So that, that seems like a pretty good amount of tries every season. Like, he's almost, not well, not try per game, but actually this year he's got 17 and 12. Jesus Christ. So he had a crazy season this season. If he played the whole season, like, geez. Um, yeah, where would he rank? And, and would he, I'm going to assume yes, but if he was eligible for Origin, which he, I don't think he is in right? he's from Fiji. If he was eligible for origin, though, would he um, would he be an origin player? I, I'd assume he would be an origin caliber player, at the very least reserves, but he definitely is a machine. He's like the one guy on the Eels I always come away impressed with. Um, anyway, so that, yeah, that doesn't matter for the standings other than the spoon. Okay, so we got Rabno's Roosters. I had Roosters by 18. The Roosters are playing for their... Um, yeah, I believe if they win and the Panthers lose, they finish second. Because they have the the point differential, um, thanks thanks to all the comments they got explaining the tiebreakers. Um, I'd be I believe that would be the case unless is there a three way tiebreaker that's not point differential? Maybe like if the Sharks and Roosters won and the Panthers lost, they'd all have thirty eight. I'd assume it'd still be point differential, but I know it's, sometimes in leagues they do like um, like it's like head to head versus those three teams. They do it for tiebreaker, but I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. They'll probably say in the in the uh, yeah in the thing. Yeah, so we got yeah, Rabbitohs Roosters. I'd assume the Roosters are going to win because they are playing with something. The, the, the Rabbitohs are just kind of, yeah, they're trying to get off on with their vacation. So we'll see what happens here, I guess. Roosters by 18 with that pick. Got an unscheduled overhaul of their team. Let's see what they can produce this evening. And he's three metres away from another one. Back to Lenu. And a kick here by Kiri. No one need to us. Hey, that was nasty. Yeah, that was sick. I'm gonna give the two front rollers for the Roosters a wrap here. Spencer. Oh yeah, that's that's the uh, who's the guy filling in for Walker now? I gotta remember his name because he's like they need him to be good. I think that's what I said in my tweeting video that the, the guy replacing Walker is gonna have a huge game and will kind of make people think the Roosters aren't as screwed as they probably are. Yeah, who's the seven? Oh, no. Right down in that Westpac red zone for Souths. It goes to tell us down. Walker! Ooh, that was too easy. Has anyone ever um just to just to pause for a second? Has anyone ever like got into the try zone and then like accidentally run out of play here as before putting it down like while they were trying to get close to the middle because that that'd be really funny if that's ever happened um maybe i'll find a bloopers video or something for the in a row Going sideways. like if he Maybe slipped and just like fell out before he put it down geez the crowd looks terrible here too there's no one there actually no there's a bit, bit more there okay a bit more on the sides it's the backs though there's no one there okay seven Smith? There you go, Smith. That's a good sign. Oh, no way. How did that happen? That was sick. <laughs> that was a wild run from the big guy. Where Angus Crichton started to run, I just don't think there are any South jerseys. Tupo, one of the best for many, many years. Steep playing the ball. 
There we go. That's another good play. Okay, this seven is doing really good. The Rabbitohs are obviously bad, but he's made a couple of good passes here. Sandon Smith and Tupanua. Sandon Smith or Sandon? I'll look him up after. Sandon Smith. Sandon Smith. Okay, that's a cool name, Sandon. The gap closed just in the nick of time. Cheery for Teddy. A dig towards the end goal and a try. It's a third for Junior Pong. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Well, I should have picked out a bigger uh, margin. Uh oh, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, this guy's fast. <laughs> yeah, he's flying. That guy's got some crazy legs. Oh, they get another one. There you go. They say it's his last game. He's retiring. That's awesome. He's a big guy too. He probably doesn't get too ready to try. This is their last time wearing the Rabbitohs colours, and they combine for a try. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the, my margin is looking better now. Jeez, are they going to go back to back to back here? No way. Oh, that was the fifth. Okay, that was the fifth. Okay, they were just going for it because it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. Plenty of quality to come back into this game. Jeez. Oh, what a kick. Outside foot, right to him. That was sick. My margin, no. He goes scoring roosters quick. Quick. There you go. All right. Congrats to number 10 there for his, uh, his career. Yeah, let me know how good that guy was. Looks like he's. It's probably a pretty good player if they're talking about him. Um, all right, so yeah, Roosters by eight. I had 18, but yeah, Roosters by eight. So that that puts the Roosters at 38 with the Panthers, and they have the tiebreaker at the moment. So I guess we'll see what happens there. Um, I guess the Sharks team hasn't actually happened as I'm recording this. So maybe I'll ask them in my Discord what the tiebreaker is for a three-way tie. But um, yeah, let's look at the comments here. This is the most satisfying and emotional Rabbitohs vs. Roosters game I can remember. Tom Burgess scores in his final game. Mark. Uh, Mark. <laughs> I don't even think I should try that. Um, Nawa. Nawa Kanitsuasi scores try on debut. Monroe scores another emotional long range tries. Kiri plays last regular season game against his old club. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Latrell didn't put a foot wrong tonight. Oh, I'm not sure that comment meant. Um, Thanks, Tom, for the great Rabbit's career. Last of the Burgers Brothers, Evan Air, great effort. Yeah, was worried there for me. I thought my 112 wasn't going to come. <laughs> great debut from. <laughs> okay, glad I'm not the only one. Great debut from a bunch of random letters. Amazing first try. <laughs> that's pretty dis disrespectful, though, but yeah, that, that's hilarious. Sandon Smith was silky smooth. Yeah, okay, let's look at him at the. Um, on, uh, let's look, at, look him up. Because. Yeah, oh, he is a young guy, so he's really young. So that, I mean, that means he could be goodly good, though. He, he's just inexperienced. Um, is Junior Cumber the, the Kincumber Colts? That's a random ass name. It's a cucumber, but. Um, Sandon Smith created history in 2023 as the first player to make his annual debut for the Sydney Reachers at, at progressing through the club's Central Coast Pathways program. Interesting. Interesting, okay. 26 appearances, zero tries. All the appearances, zero tries this season, but he's more of a, yeah, he's a passer guy more, right? Uh, yeah, he didn't play that many minutes, right? He plays, yeah. Like, yeah, he plays a low, low amount of minutes. Um, he played 15 last year, actually. Interesting. Okay, why did he play so much more last season? I guess they did have, like, Sam Walker's also young. So Sam Walker wasn't quite established yet. Remember, they both were kind of switching back and forth. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, let, let me know for sure. Actually, his Wikipedia page is decently sized, too. Um, All right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so let, let me know what you guys think of him. Like, does he... Are the Roosters, like... Did he look good enough that the Roosters could still... They still have a chance of, like, 
at least winning a round or two in in the in the in the playoffs, or are they still kind of screwed with him there? Like, I'd assume he is pretty good. Like, if he's young and he's playing, he's got to be decent. Just yeah, the whole inexperience factor, and he also is really small. But and his position usually is pretty small. But he's like yeah, he's like five foot nine, which is pretty uh pretty not ideal. Um, anyways, okay, we got Dragons Raiders now. I had Raiders by eight. This is the like secondary match to make the uh, the playoffs, right? If if the Knights Dragons game goes to uh, or if the Knights Dolphins game go, goes to a draw, then the winner of this makes it. So pretty unlikely that's going to happen. But I mean, we'll see. I guess um, I had Raiders by eight was my pick. I don't remember why. Um, why did I say Raiders? I forget why I said Raiders. Maybe yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going Raiders by 8. The kick here will come down to King Tongia, and it will be the Bell and who will bring it away for the Dragons. Down the line. The kick will come from Ben Hunt. It puts it out there towards Zach Lomax, and we know what an aerial special... Oh, jeez, Lomax. What a pass. What a beginning. Jeez. An amazing try for the Dragons. Yeah, Lomax and Hunt, are, they're such a good duo. Oh, no way. Did they? I, I think he did. I think he did. Yeah, jeez, what a try. He had like five guys on him. Right, it's a brutal start for the Raiders. Oh, no way. What are they doing? Where's the D? Oh, dude, look at the speed. Oh, good tackle, good tackle. Well, that was adventurous. Was he ever going to beat Weeks? Absolutely not. I'm sure Sloan was, though. Here is Leilua. It comes to Hunt. He puts a kick in again. It's still there. He got it. Yeah, he got that. All right, well, there goes that pick. Holy. Dragon's just getting smoked. He's only 15 minutes in, too, right? Yeah, jeez. Okay, I guess, it, I guess there's tons of time left. Tons of time left. Oh, what a kick. Oh, what a finish. Yeah, he got that. Oh, he just, he just kicked that guy in the head. <laughs> what is going on here? Another kick. Go for the bounce. Oh, he got it. Jeez. This is a wild game. This is only 20 minutes in the game. First try of his career. Nice. Yeah, Raiders. Xavier. Oh, dude. How many times is it going to happen? I feel like the Raiders have let that happen like five times. Oh my god, that was almost insane. That would have been crazy if that connected. Stepping back towards the middle. And Fogarty very quickly comes out here to set Chris. Good fit. Nice, nice. There you go. Make interesting, readers. Make it interesting. Early second half, yeah. Down by eight. Here we go. Oh, what a pass. Yeah, he's got too much speed. Got too much speed there. That was sick. A second try for the Raiders. In this second half, and maybe they're coming to get them. Horsburgh goes to the line, Tarpany yeah, also, four. short ball from Fogarty, and then his ability doesn't ask oh, any a replay. questions, okay. just sets sail for the left-hand corner, gets on the outside of Yeah, Sloan. it was a sick play. It's like a sweet play type, type thing almost. Short, who's there? Oh, DeBellin is there! Oh, what a catch. DeBellin couldn't believe his luck. Time running out. It goes to Fogarty. He keeps it alive. Horsburgh. Oh, what the? No way. What was that? <laughs> he need to do that. That like went off someone, he didn't it? Yeah, went off a knee, right, into, right into back into his. It went off his foot, right into his arm. Into his arms. That's crazy. Kick for the win. Yeah. What a kick. Raiders. There you go, Raiders. You have hope. Raiders. 
the 12th time this season. Raiders by two. All right. There's hope. If they can get that draw, there is hope. Um, I doubt. I doubt that will happen. The draw. I think a draw is pretty rare. I think there's only like one draw this season, right? So that's that'd be pretty rare. But there's hope. Um, Sloan's constant errors lost the game for the Dragons. Dragons never played the full eighty. Amazing, they're near making the eight. Sloan's ability on attack does not come close to always complete lack of defense. Yeah, something about a about a hip drop drop here that wasn't talked about. Interesting. Raiders peaking at the right time. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Props to the Raiders for beating the Panthers, Roosters, and Dragons in an already wasted season. Some rectification for their fans. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that'd be crazy if there's a draw and they make it, but it's probably not going to happen. Anyways, okay. We got Bulldogs, Cowboys. Um, Crichton's back for the Bulldogs, I believe, is what I read. Um, so that's huge, obviously. And they did just lose, right? They lost their last game. So I think the Bulldogs are going to take this one. They'll, they'll like they'll, they'll want to be going to the playoffs really hot. So that's obviously a big thing. And then I believe with a win here, they are locked into yeah. This is this is for yeah a win. They a win and they get fifth. They can't make a top four. I don't believe. Yeah, they they, they would be tied with the Sharks, but the Sharks point differential is way higher. So I believe this is this is just a win and they get fifth. Actually, yeah, whoever wins this gets fifth. I is what I want. yeah yeah. Yeah, when you get fifth, when you get you get home, you get home uh, home field advantage in, in round one of like the the five through eight section of the bracket. I'm not sure how you call, but what you call that is that like round one or something. I'm not sure, but anyways, it should be a good game. Enjoy it right here on Fox Lane. Cowboys have like a new, is it a new seven as well? Like a few weeks ago, they switched to a different seven, like a younger guy. So that'll be interesting to see if they're like a lot better. Yeah, is it Clifford? Yeah, Clifford, I think it was. Jeez. Is he gone? Oh, good tackle. Oh! That was late. That was pretty late. Is that, a, is that a penalty or is that just a big hit? Yeah, jeez. Okay. Just a penalty, I think. Is that the same time? 27. Yeah, the late contact. Okay. Yeah, that would have been bad. If he got hurt too, wouldn't they be screwed? They wouldn't have a seven anymore. Or they'd have a bad seven. Oh, that was brutal. I don't think he's got it. Yeah, he hasn't got it. Good tackle. Good tackle. What a chase. What a tackle. Connor Tracy, the Bulldogs fans on their feet. Slow to play the ball down. Robson, Clifford, Drinkwater, hands by Lee. Good pass here. Oh, a good throw. Just tossed him off him. Holmes. There you go, Edo. You would have him kicking for your life at the moment. The Cowboys left side. Jeez, Cowboys. 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 Yeah, they're playing great. They're just smoking the, the Bulldogs right now. Oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was massive. Right when he runs on the ground, he gets smoked. Out of that, jeez. All right, the Cowboys are really dialed in right now. Oh, jeez, what a grab. What a grab. Is it Crichton? Oh, they threw! Oh, what a play, Cowboys! What a play! That was unreal. Okay, the Cowboys are like chugging along. This is crazy. I had not expected this to happen at all. I thought it, at, at best it'd be close. Oh man, good tackle, good tackle. Jeez. They're right there. They're right there. Half a meter short. Robson now. Charging up and at the Canterbury defense constantly. Right. Last one, go. last one. Quickly along. It's a three on two. Good passing. Nice, jeez. Holy. Of significant proportion. Yeah, if the Cowboys didn't end up fifth, that'd be like crazy. I feel like. I feel like I've counted them out all season, and then now they're just like 
playing so well recently. Oh, he's got that. What a grab, Holmes. Jeez, Bulldogs fans are probably not feeling good at all right now. Bulldogs were like, yeah, they were like one of the, definitely one of the contenders, but they've been not doing well at all lately. 32 left there, jeez. What is happening? Oh, he got it. Team. Probably too late, but who knows? Oh, brutal! Jeez. Bulldogs. What happened to the Bulldogs' D? Like, yeah, you, all I've been hearing is how good their defense is. I think they've gotten like just destroyed recently. Another one. Like, they're gonna have to reset really fast if they want a chance in round one. Holy, forty-four to six. Jeez. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Look at his face. That's awesome. Um, okay, comments. Congrats, Cal Felt. Hundred fifty NFL tries. Phenomenal. Dogs back to their typical form before finals. Tommy Duden, a player. Bulldogs smaller mobile forwards got found out last week against Manly, now getting found out on a weekly basis. Interesting, interesting. Remember two weeks ago when the doggies beat Waz and all their fans said they run over Manly and Cowboys and then they beat first yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dogs without any help from the bunker slash ref. <laughs> Friday continues to be continues to look tries and gets called the best fans of center, but least more tries than he scores and assists on. He's a liability. That seems like a hot take. Interesting, yeah. I guess. He, yeah, he he was on Pan the Panthers, right? So maybe he got a bit overrated because of being on the Panthers. Like it's more of like a team thing, and maybe that's why. But I feel like he's he was like really important for the Bulldogs all season. So it's a bit different. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, best team was in the comp. LOL. Yeah, yeah. The Bulldogs just yeah. This is kind of crazy. The Bulldogs are not like yeah. I was not expecting what to happen. Um, okay, so yeah, and I, actually, I guess looking at the Bulldogs, um, you know, so they're they're thirty four, and just like plus, yeah, like plus a hundred now, I guess, because they just got smoked there. And then Cowboys have thirty six, and they went like plus eighty. All right, so let me update that. Cowboys in fifth. So the Eagles can actually pass. Is, is this who do the Eagles play? They play the Sharks, right? Okay, this yeah, so the Eagles can actually pass the Bulldogs here and finish. Uh, sixth if they win this right so that's kind of crazy now too but the sharks will obviously be trying to win this one yeah yeah all right well that's that's crazy yeah the bulldogs might have to fade the bulldogs in my in my predictor for uh for finals um okay panthers titans um uh, i panthers by 14 i i think yeah the panthers are still playing for stuff right yeah they're playing for second place so i think i think if they win yeah if they win they get second yeah yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna be trying hard. Um, I would like to see a lot of awesome tries though from the uh, from the Titans guys. Uh, Con Prera is yeah, he's one of my favorites. So it'd be cool to see him make a couple more tries to finish the season. But we'll see. And it's the Panthers and the Gold Coast Titans. The Panthers looking to lock up second spot and top two for a fifth straight season. We got some throwback jerseys for the, the Panthers. Edwards, oh, he gets straight through, gets it on, and it's a try. Brian Tuttle. There you go. Brian Tuttle. Early try for the Panthers. Yeah, good play, Edwards. They were very short on that side. Barrels back in field. For it. Campbell there, picking it up. Oh, oh my! And another, and another, absolutely stunning. He went through like he was a ghost. He went past one, two, three of them. Jaden Campbell. Dude. I gotta watch that again. Campbell there, picking it up. Oh, that oh my god, that step right there was insane. I gotta put that in slow motion. That was insane. That step. Look at this. This guy's ankles got broken. Look, he's like fully commit to the right. And just, he like jumps over his feet too. Oh my god, and then dodge an ankle tap there. 
Edwards ain't trying to angle tap him as well. Sheesh. That was sick. Jaden Campbell. Bro. That was crazy. That was like all origin guys too. That was like Liam Martin and uh, Dylan Edwards. Holy. Yeah, the Titans up, man. The Titans have so many like electric young guys. I feel like, yeah. It's crazy. I hope they end up good soon. Oh, got save it. At the Panthers. Three tackles to go here. Kenny on the Luai. Delays the pass. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. Jeez. Big hit. Fafita. If he doesn't make the tackle, he's going to snide and get the ball away. Will Penrith score a try? Luai wants it. Delays the pass. This is all the time. Oh, another huge one. And he dropped it. Who was it that hit that? Stuff from Gold Coast. And, and in particular, Jojo Fafita. It was Fafita again, right? Yeah. Jeez, Fafita's a beast. Kenny, Snyder, Edwards, Edwards. Oh, what a play, Edwards. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? He's like, he's just like po <laughs> poking the top of his head. just too good on his feet, that close to the line. With a couple of stationary defenders in this Gold Coast side, that certainly yeah, spins off the hit. The slip from Alec Winky. Back it comes to the open. The Panthers by four, second half. Luai, what a kick! Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jerome Luai has should be 16-6. Gone a number of times this season on that same play, just dribbling it through the line. Garner's got a, a a great awareness about him to read the kick, and oh, you can't defend that. It's very hard to defend when you get the kick as good as what Jerome Luai just did then. Mm -hmm. Get twenty minutes left. Oh, good passing. One v four. No way. Oh, did he? I don't think he got. It. He's claiming it, okay. I don't there's Tane he got it. Based on the on field decision of no. the ball being held up and their ball being lost will be supporting on the field decision of no try. Okay. Yeah. That seems fair. Yeah, that seems fair. Comes to four. Four and the boy. The stab kick. Kelly coming through. So is Edwards. Edwards worked it. Oh he's got how did that happen? No try. Edwards has possession of the ball. Brian Kelly in a one-on-one -on -one tackle strips the ball. His hand comes away. It's then gone forward and is resting on the arm of Dylan Edwards for a knock-on. We have a decision. Yo okay. poised on the left. Yo gets it on. Luai the sure, line. I guess. Great read, the oh, no way. What the? Yeah, I need to see a replay of that. That was, like, super chaotic. He loses it there. Yeah, he loses it. He loses it. Yeah. This is as well as it Ooh, Edwards kind of bailed on that there. Uh oh, he knows. He knows. He just messed up. There's prayer. Oh, J the ankle tap. Yeah, Edwards knew he messed up there. Yeah. Luffy Camperera. Luffy Camperera. Luffy Camperera. Is that what? Is that what his name is? One sec. Oh, yeah, a Lofiana. Luffy, okay. I thought that I might have been calling him like Luffy from uh, One Piece. <laughs> yeah, no, right here, Edward, Edward's totally. Edward sees the hit coming and just bails. Right, right here. He sees this guy about to smoke him and he bails. Or did he? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm, that was me with my hockey brain. Maybe, maybe he panicked a little bit, I think. He panicked a little bit and like didn't get a good pass off because of it. And then immediately he knows he messed up. Yeah. All right, sixteen twelve. Oh, that's a high. Got his mouth. Oh no, no, that's. Oh no, he got him. Yeah, geez, he's all bloody. Should be a penalty. Yeah, should be a penalty. Eighteen twelve. 
Panthers, All right, Panthers by six. All right. Look at the comments here. The knock on rule, and he says possession is ridiculous. Yeah, that one seemed weird. The one where it was a no try with Edwards in the in the in the try zone. Um, Campbell's double juke was diabolical. Yeah, Panthers need to step the game if they want a chance when the grand fall. Congrats, Penrith. Yeah. What happened to Penrith's jersey club fused with Manly? Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a retro uh, retro jerseys. Yeah, big Jado snap and ankles. Love it. Yeah. Penrith wiring us, Sea Panthers, uh, too many errors, but it wins a win, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, lots of people just, yeah. I just try to confirm the Penrith not with a chip cheer, probably make prelim, maybe the grand final, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, I guess. Um, So we are back, uh, it is now the next day from when I just recorded the uh, the previous uh, matches. Um, Obviously, I did not do a... Uh, a Dolphins Nights uh, live stream ended up not feeling well, so I didn't didn't get around to doing that. Apologies, but hopefully it's a good game. Um, yeah, so we got Seagulls Sharks is the first game we got to take a look at. Um, I think yeah, we looked at the ladder predictor right, and it's I think the Sharks are locked into four. I think yeah, I think they can't move from four, but the Seagulls can move from seven to six, so that would affect like they would get uh they would get home field advantage right in their first matchup, I believe six for seven, yeah. I believe so. They pass the Cowboys or the Bulldogs. One of the two. Anyways, let's let's just get into it. Oh, oh, what was my prediction? Crap. Uh, what was my prediction? Sharks by twelve is my prediction. So we're gonna go with that. I think I, I think I was looking for a Nico Hines big game for Nico Hines. Second last game of the regular season underway on Fox League, and Hunt off the back fence. He almost ran out of the third row. On the left side, Jake Trubojevic, he's not the kicker. Brooks Trubojevic. It, gets the range, oh, no, no. He's cleared all aspects of play in the lead-up. And it ends up Lehigh a knock-on. does not exert downward pressure on the ball and knocks on in the end goal. There we have go. a decision. All right. The McInnes, right in the centre. Hines with it. Then Kennedy. They're rolling the Sharks. Radiant Kentucky. There you go. Early start it's for the Sharks. Nice job. He did a little bit of tiptoe stuff in the corner. Manly from near try now concede the first. Croker left side Brooks. Oh, good step for dummy, I guess. Nice. Goes, Tommy T. Tommy T. Tommy Talao scores another one for Manly. Yeah, Turbo's not playing for Manly as well, right? Is that what I? Jesse Ramey or did they just say his name? I'm gonna just, just no. They didn't. Left foot and gets a beautiful flick pass there through to Talao. Last tackle, 15 away. Cherry Evans. Cherry. Oh, no way. What a grab. He got it. Is that not going to get it? Let's see. He's not the tallest of wingers. Yeah, no, he had it. Nice. That was sick. 1v3. Brayley to Trindle. Dummy. Weaves a pass. Nice. There you go. There you go. Maybe a knock on? Let's see. Try to confirm. Okay. The highest order. Ronaldo. Loose ball. No worries. Yeah, we kept it. We kept it. Still on for the Sharks. Oh, what a pass. No way. Did he get it? No, he didn't get it. He, he said no. He said no. Gives the opportunity here to Katoa. If he did, that's no, no. Def that defense. Wow. That was sick. Yeah, he knew right away. Rock solid. Hines. Hazelton. Hazelton. Oh, what a pass. Right through the middle. Tommy Hazelton for Williams. Big 16 to 8, should be. Has set one up for Cronulla. Here is Brown. Brooks goes to the front man. That was Lawton. He was tackled. No. Oh, he's going to go. Just going to go. So Lawton gets up. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, fight, 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 fight. That was a brutal hit. I need to see a replay, though. Could be in trouble to Lau. I mean, he is wound up tight here, Jesse. Get in there, Hines. Come on. Oh, no replay? Okay, that, let me know what happened there. I don't think I. There wasn't a send in right. I don't think. There you go, Sharks. Nice. There you go. Man, do I hop on the Sharks bandwagon again? I might have to. Brown cuts him off. 
Spins away. One hander over the top. Wilton gets moving. Oh, good dummy. Teague Wilton straight down the hand. Yeah, the numbers. Kennedy support. Hines. Hines. Oh, big tackle. Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. What the hell? What happened there? No, what a pass. What a defensive play. No way. Oh, knock on. Jeez. Tiff tackle. No way. That was sick. That was sick. Yeah. Oh, right at the line. With Brown and Cherry Evans. Olakuatu lines up Eero and carries them over. No, no. Did he? Man, every try of this game, it feels like I've seen a knock on. Oh, no, he had it. He had it the whole time. Okay. The motion is on me. It looks like it dropped it. They didn't. Nicara again. He's headed cross country. Britt Nicara. What a player. What a player, Britt Nicara. Jeez. Crazy. Atkinson, Hines looked in, goes Sharks out. by 20 right now. Oh, what a pass, man. Oh, and that guy just... <laughs> the defender that just slipped. A special back rower for Brooks. And Brooks then with a move, and he's good to fullback. He has got loads and loads of ability. Tolu Kola, full-time. There you go. Sharks by 20. Sheesh. 20. I had 14, right? 12, sure, by 12, okay. Let's look at comments. Pure comedy gold that Manly's defense is holding firm. <laughs> Long time Sharks fan, I bristle at the choker tag, but we didn't do anything to dissuade the critics last year. Hopefully we can repeat the miracle of 2016. Okay. Nikora's pure quality, yeah, he seemed really nasty in the game. Uh, Sharks playing their best game of the season one week out from the finals, yeah, that's always a good sign. Going in, going in good. Uh, He's been on for 3.2 seconds, yeah. Manly, no chance, yeah. Let's go Sharks, we are winning the grand final. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be crazy. Bulldogs to pluck the Seagulls feathers. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I guess there wasn't a Sinbin on that hit. That hit was pretty pretty crazy. Um, anyway, so yeah, so Seagulls finished seventh. I mean, I'm pretty sure that means it's, um, was it, is it Cowboys in fifth or Bulldogs? Cowboys won, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Cowboys are fifth, Bulldogs six. So Bulldogs play Sea Eagles, and then uh, Cowboys play the winner of this Knights Dolphins game. All right, yeah, Knights Dolphins. I had uh, Dolphins by four was my pick. I'm pretty biased against the Knights though, because I just don't like their uniforms at all. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I guess if 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 there's a draw, that'd be insane. But the yeah, <laughs> let's see. The battle for eighth. Knights home game. Nice. Can you get it down? There's no way, right? There's no way he's getting that down here. Ooh. Oh. That's smoke. Oh, good tackle. Uh oh. Yeah, jeez. Alright, night's up early. When he gets across field, he's so quick. The outside defenders have to turn in. That Amelia, he goes over. Short side play. With a little bit of territory in front of him. Good he slipped the pass out somehow. And Asako throws it back. Oh, the ball's gone back to no the way. Crow just on, swooped on, on it for the night. That was Ponga, he thought about a kick, or at least he was pretending to. Then he goes backwards and beats the defense. Oh, Gagos, stay out. Fletcher sharp with it now. Oh. Ponga has the ball dislodged. What is going on? Alright. Last play of the half. No. Damn. One more tackle. One more tackle. Yeah. Oh, wow. He got it off really quick. No way. No. Good defense. Alright. 6 0 at the half. Really close game. Ponga. 
Oh man. Oh, what a dude. What a play. Okay, that was nasty. That was nasty. That was just a superstar play right there. Holy. That was sick. Holy crap. Alright. Oh, one off the post. No way. That's insane. Knock on though. Okay, that would have been sick. Off the post. No, they can't give a penalty for this. If Jerry Marshall King moves across the line of the ball. That is the first infringement. Just looking to see what happens next. What? <laughs> and then Phoenix Crossler knocks on. The first offence will be a penalty against Jeremy Marshall King. Okay, interesting. 14 0. Oh, looking okay, good for the Dolphins. Oh my god, they got smoked. Oh, good D, good D. Jeez. Oh. Oof. Uh oh. What's going on here? Well, he couldn't oh, get a fight here. in the boxing oh, ring. Can he have one at McDonald Jones? <laughs> what? Oh, can get yeah. a fight. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. He got him in the head. This may be sick. Got him in the head. Sinman. Yeah, yeah, that's game over. Knights in the playoffs. Jeez, that was what, what a dumb play by that guy. Oh, no way. He got it. He got it. No way. That's, they're still pretty screwed, but... No. Yeah, 14-6. Knights to the finals. Jeez. Congrats, Knights fans, even though I hate your guys' uniforms, but... All right, comments. Uh, Ponga was sensational. Yeah, Ponga. That, that, that try was insane. That, 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 the pass and everything. Uh, that's a little sign finally got top eight. Yeah. Why wasn't the first try score where the Dolphins showed that not being a try is just a loss league has become a fan hard to watch complete game these days? Basically, NRL is a try is scored, roulette wheel is spun by the bunker. Outcome of that determines whether it is allowed. It's a game of chance now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that they didn't show a try that the Dolphins apparently scored. They got taken away. Interesting. Yeah, refs ruined the game. Interesting. Okay. So some controversy there. Lots of bunker talk here. Yeah. Yeah. Fuller tried. Tr Fuller disallowed try edited out. Wonder why. Okay, interesting. All right, so let's um, take a look at the sta the final standings and all that of our first our first NRL season. Um, round twenty seven. So yeah, Storm finished top. Panthers, Rooster, Sharks, Cowboys, Bulldogs, Seagulls, and Knights. Yeah, and then the Raiders. Yeah, they won by point differential here. Yeah. Um, the Dolphins, Dragons, Broncos, Warriors, Titans, Eels, Rabbiters, Tigers with the bottom of the barrel, which is wild. Um, okay, so do I do where is the ladder predictor? Uh, this okay, so I'll, I'll probably do an actual video for this, but yeah, let me see what the uh, yeah, Storm Sharks, Cowboys, Knights, Bulldogs, Seagulls, Panthers, Roosters, these are all really good matchups. Um, that's probably my most anticipated game, probably Panthers, Roosters. I think Storm should be good to win this one. Roosters will be interesting to see because both teams are missing their seven, actually, right? Or is Cleary going to be back? I don't think I don't think we know as of right now if Cleary will be back for this game, but if he is, and obviously they probably are heavy favorites, but if he's not, then they're kind of even though I mean Lou is still sick, but like their secondary number sevens will be playing. So that'll be interesting. Bulldog Seagulls, I feel like they, this is like the third time they're gonna play this season, I think. Maybe fourth. They have a, a ton. So both teams are really struggling right now, but one of them has to win, so I guess we'll see what happens there. Uh Cowboys Knights, I'd assume Cowboys win this one. Um and then, yeah, Storm, Storm Sharks is like, I don't know, the Sharks are playing well, but it's the Storm are as well, too. So, um, okay, are the, are the game time set for this for these matches either, as well? Um, finals week one. All right, so these are the times of the games. Okay, geez. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one, the Friday one. It's Friday at 2.50 for me. I may, I may have to skip that one. And then we'll do Storm Sharks as a stream, most likely, and then maybe Bulldog Seagulls as well for round one. Probably not, though. Yeah. 
but we'll probably do storm sharks and then i'll do i'll do extended satellites reactions for these ones um then what week two are these they're both two okay they, the week two is gonna be rough for me i don't know if i'm able to do either week two uh week three is the same okay are they all gonna be oh jesus okay they're all 3 a.m for me that sucks so much I'll, I'll try to do one i'll try to do one of them for sure i'll do i'll try to do one i'll stay up most likely the saturday one though not the friday one um yeah it sucks the time zone so it sucks so much that must be better if i was like if i was looking like on the east coast it'd be like 6 a.m for me instead of three but three is like right in the middle of the night so it's like terrible um all right uh let's look at the final stats of the season i should just do that too holmes wins the points uh comprera and then felt felt i don't think i've even felt doesn't really ring a bell but felt felt with number two there uh tupo dom young oh two, okay dom young didn't even he was tied for first on the race was interesting um you know any type of breaks to desk off rates Hunt with the pass assists or the try assists. Um, all receipts, Blake Braley. You know, kick meters, all kicks. Mahoney just dominating with the with the tackles. Um, intercepts, Cherry Evans leading the way. That's crazy. Run meters, Karaz on the Bulldogs. Pretty, or him and Tedesco, pretty big. Uh, yeah. Penalties, errors, Lomax. Jeez, Lomax and Hunt just so many errors. That's crazy. The one and two. Handling errors, yeah. Set restarts, penalties, poor play. All right. Is there anything? Yeah. Is how does? It, let me look. There wasn't actually a video. There wasn't a best moments video for the NRLW out yet. So let me actually look at the uh, matches this week for the NRLW instead of doing a reaction. But so there, how many games? Round seven just happened, right? Because geez, did the Tigers win a game yet? Oh my god, they lost by two. That's crazy. Okay, so they didn't win a game, but the Titans win. Titans lost. So I think Titans are the MVP team, right? Or was it the Sharks? I'm not sure. So there's, there's round eight, round nine, and then finals. Okay. So they only, they only have nine games, and then they go to the finals, and then grand finals. So top four. Top four make it. and then, Okay, and that's on the same day as... Uh, yeah, we'll probably do a reaction then to this game, to the grand final of the NRLW. That's a good time for me. It's like early in the, early in the day, I guess. Yeah, so that's cool. I was for the ladder for that too. I believe was it the Sharks? Yeah, the Sharks. Okay, so the Sharks just got blown out by the number two team. Interesting. And the Tigers zero seven. <laughs> Has the team ever gone like not not won a game? Let's see. In, in the women's side, one and five. Oh, yeah, zero and five. A team that's during COVID though, so this season shorter. Twenty twenty got shut down. Yeah, not very many games. Looks like they only played three games. Jeez. Yes, the NRW is definitely like growing and growing each year. I guess it's like the first year they've actually played like a. Actually, no, that's based on round. I'm so dumb. That was based on round. Uh, I gotta like. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, one and eight. 2022. How many. Okay, they played five. 2022. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we will we will wrap it up there. Yes, yeah, so I was like round 27 reaction. Um, yeah, apologies. I haven't been able to do streams lately. It's been a little chaotic over at my house at the moment. Um, my room is right next door to like two other bedrooms and I have tons of people staying over at, at our house at the moment. So it's kind of hard to do like be on stream like, in the middle of the night when people are trying to sleep so it's kind of been a shit show with that sort of thing but yeah i'll try to i'll try to tough it out i guess for for finals because i obviously want to watch it along with you guys live it's better than doing like sitting here alone doing my reactions um but yeah so that was our that was our first season of nrl reactions um yes yeah, so I'll, I'll make a i'll make a predictions video um in the next day or two my predictions for round one i guess and then i, I guess i'll i think I, every, every round i'll do predictions for each uh like the front the whole thing i guess and then maybe edit them depending on what happens but yeah so i will do i'll try to do one stream uh, at least one one stream a week for the finals and then i'll do ex the extended highlights reaction as well for the other games that i don't do a stream for and i'll probably do those as individual videos right yeah yeah i'll, I'll try to get them up faster that way when they're when they're like that um yeah yeah, we're up at there. Thanks for watching. Make sure to sub the video, comment your thoughts, all that good stuff. Join the Discord for sure. Um, once the off season hits, I'm gonna start doing reactions to like more like highlights of like players and like documentary stuff. And like, um, I think we're gonna try to do uh, like like watch alongs or like reactions to like previous grand finals or previous like great games in the NRL history. 
to keep like the NRL content going throughout the off season. So uh, yeah, look, look forward to that. I guess to the Discord you can post more uh, requests for specific stuff like that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.